Hey, what's up, bros? Game, game time. Speed 7-Eleven. I'm looking at two things in this video. First, I'm looking at how to defeat the Cube Assassin. And secondly, how to complete a sideways anomaly. Some tips and tricks on that, how to get this done. So you can see I'm in a custom lobby. Because... Try the soul of this, even in a bot lobby, was near impossible. So the cube assassin spawns randomly. So it may be good to go through a few of the anomalies just to loot up. You get a lot of ammo and you can get some of these sideways weapons. And I prefer the sideways minigun. And you get enough cube crystal and monster parts for crafting to upgrade. Travel to your next anomaly location. And if you ever get to one that's got like a reboot van or some kind of structure you can get on top of, it's a good high ground. There's very few of these monsters can fire. You see the cube assassin already spawned. I want to watch this my meter because I kept running out of time. And what happened is I wasn't to the third phase yet. Time ticks down fast. So I'm trying to get enough lesser monster kills to get into the third phase like this. And now I'm just going to focus purely on the cube assassin for the remaining time until I either die or run out of time or she dies. And then load all those headshots as much as possible. They say shooting in the backpack is a weak point. It feels like a headshot, but I did not know that at the time. But luckily, I was able to take her out in this custom lobby. So you can see in the custom lobby, she does not throw up her polygon shield and she does not fire back. So that makes it rather easy. I saw Tabor Hill do this, and all I was trying to do was get the NPC dialogue to get her to show up in my quest log, my collection book, and that did work. Although talking to her, I don't see the dialogue. Supposed to sell a cube part for 150 gold for one way overpriced. I would not buy those. And then her bubble chat dialogue says, "Stand square and be rooted, champion." So not much to it. But let me clip this for my thumbnail. So this is the cube assassin ghost. The show's in game after you eliminate her. And eliminating her does give an instant victory to the anomaly. So that is good. But as I said, it's very difficult in game when she's throwing up the shield and firing back. So if you can get into a custom lobby, that would probably be the best way. If not, try it in a bot lobby, but have at least a few other guys in a squad and try to team up on her because trying to solo it was near impossible. I'd upgrade it to the Epic Minigun. I was just wanting to compare it between the Epic Minigun and the Mythic. Not much of a difference in the fire rate or the damage. 21 versus 24. And here's another one where I didn't get it timed right. I didn't get to the third phase yet and I just ran out of time. I was the one through these enough. I got pretty good at defeating the anomaly. As I was saying, if the gold root spawns, or the cube assassin spawns, if you were just trying to defeat the anomaly, I would avoid them until the third phase. Just focus on the lesser monsters that you can kill pretty quick. Because what you want to do is keep that bar ticking up at the top. If you start focusing on a gold root right at the beginning, you'll definitely run out of time. Waiting on the lesser monsters to spawn. Keeping that bar ticking up. In the third phase. So now I can focus on fire brutes. They are harder to kill, but they give a lot of experience or progress. That'll give you the victory. So try that again. You can see the cube assassin does not spawn every time, but practicing for her, I got better at soloing these sideways anomalies. Same strategy. 
sticky move. Focus on the lesser bosses if a gold brood ever pops out. Try to shoot him around him. The exploding ones, be careful. Because all the kill them, the sideways monsters will give you shield and does not regenerate your health. So if you get health knocked down by explosions of poison gas, can't recover that so easily. You don't have time to heal up. Now with the normal sideways zone, you can walk outside of it, box up, heal up, and come back in. But in these anomaly rifts, you don't have time for all of that. But all right, using these strategies of how to kill those monsters should help you on completing, defeating a sideways encounter. Or also killing the cube assassin. You should have all the weak one challenges knocked out after that. And then the cube assassin is the NPC 13 that will then show up in your collection book. Alright, bro, good luck with it. <laughs>